Want to trade that empty in for a fresh one there, Jack? Get your nickel deposit back? <laughs> Those cost money. <laughs> Watch your language. Or you're going to bed without supper, young man. Why are you doing this? Revenge, Paul? No, you see, the truth is, I'm just turning an ordinary lab rat into a cash cow. With fangs. Yeah, and it's my duty as a physician to pursue all possible research. I'm in the business of saving lives, Jack. No, you're in the business of locking your pockets. Well, that's a natural byproduct of saving lives. I'd never hurt a living soul, or even a semi-living soul like yourself. You're killing Livy but keeping me locked up in here. If I don't get to Caleb, you might as well be signing her death warrant. Don't you get it? Well, if I didn't before, I do now. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Nothing. Okay, Jack, I hate to break up the party, but uh, I have a few questions that only a computer can answer, so don't go anywhere, okay? Go to hell. Well, without you? Wouldn't dream of it. We'll go there together, little brother. I mean, what are big brothers for, right? Oh, by the way, you hungry? I'm gonna get you a juicy cheeseburger, maybe a couple pounds of raw meat, and wash it down with a big frothy glass of O negative or something. <laughs> What's your pleasure? All right, have it your way. I'll just make it a big, big surprise. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I have to eat. I need to get that lick. I love you so much. Just give me strength. Strength. Caleb has Olivia. We found her clothes in the catacombs. Oh, that has to be what Jack is. He must be looking for him. Wait a minute. I, I, I don't think so. What do you mean? Chris Ramsey checked out a six-pack of blood and took a sudden vacation. Wait a minute. You think that Chris has Jack? Yeah, Doc, I bet the farm on it. The question is, where? I talked to Victor. What? You, you, you told him? That we're dealing with vampires? No, I didn't. But if finding living means finding Jack, and if Chris has Jack's stash somewhere... Victor can help. Good. That's a good idea. At least it's a start, huh? First we find the haystack and then we search for the needle. Right. Dr. Parker's search. trauma one. Search. Dr. Hey, Lucy, I've Parker's never felt so helpless in all my life. And it's all my fault because I kept brushing off all your instincts and now I'm... I, do. I just wish more than anything I could crawl inside your head and try and figure out what's going on because now I understand that we're dealing with things I could never fathom. What's going on? Where, where am I? Where? Doc! Lucy, Lucy, no, Lucy no. are you all right? I'm okay. It's Rachel. I, I keep, I keep seeing Rachel. Do you remember, you remember that, that time she took us to some place and tied, tied us yeah, up? Yeah, you mean the laboratory? Yeah. Every time I close my eyes, every time my brain drifts a little bit, I keep seeing that place. Go with it. Follow the trail. It's really strange, but it's like it's happening right now. It's like... It's like we're there right now. And the feeling is so incredibly strong. Like that's good enough for me. Come on. Wait a minute. Where are we going? What, what do you think? I'm not fighting your universe anymore. Especially when it's all we have to go on. Good. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys of all ages, we... Oh, no. Oh. Yes, girl. Jack. That's great. First try. How did you... Oh, you mean the cage? Just another one of my little secrets. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to torture this one out of me. Um, hope you don't mind. I went ahead and ate. That was some of the best blood I've ever tasted, Chris. Where'd you get that? I, you know what? Doesn't matter. But, gained my strength back. Got my appetite back. Great news, huh? Stay away from me. What? I'm sorry, bro. Did I miss something? I mean, you weren't about to leave, were you? I mean, all the fun's just about to begin now that the tables are turned. <laughs> Where do we begin? Check. Let me explain. Too late, Chris. 
You'd only be wasting your breath and my time, and I've already lost a day because of you. Please. And therefore, Livy might be dead. So don't talk to me about your explanations. You're done explaining, and I'm done listening. Check. Check, I'm your brother, okay? Brother? <laughs> don't you brother me! I know all about your brotherly love. And you're about to get a taste of mine. Check, don't do this. Oh, Chris, don't worry. It's not gonna be painful. I mean, heck, I'm not gonna starve you to death. And oh, hey, where are you going, big brother? Huh? And you know what? I'm not gonna feed on you. But I might snap your neck. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? You know? Jack! No! Jen, please, no! Jack! Jack, please! Jack, please! Let him Jack, go! Please. You don't understand! You don't understand! The police will put you back in jail again if you hurt him! If? I'll show you. Think about Libby. No, he kept me away from me. He made me lose time. He's not worth it! Get away from me! Both of you! Do something! Do what? something! How? Oh, no! Jack, stop, please. No, he deserves it. I'm sure he does, but killing him won't get us to Libby any sooner. Listen to Doc. We need your to... help, Jack. We've but... got to get to Libby. You gotta listen. Is Chris worth losing Libby over? Uh... Yeah, Libby. Don't let Chris hold you back. Let's go find her. Every minute counts, Jack, please. <clears throat> you told me vampires couldn't kill their own brothers. A technicality, they... They can't feed. They can't feed. But no problem snapping necks. That's quite a loophole. So you guys know about me. Oh, Jack. Yeah, we're sort of putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Same to you, Chris. What the heck was going on in here? My brother decided to lock me in this cage to run experiments on me. But I guess he lived a little longer, huh? I was trying to save lives, keep the public safe. You want to protect people, Chris? Uh, I'll protect you. No, 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 Jack. Stop. See? See what you get? Give that blood-sucking monster half a chance, and he just goes after the jugular. I'm just trying to keep innocent people safe. Safe? You want to be safe? Kevin, Jack. Chrissy, huh? Keep him away you from me. Stay away from me, Chris. Uh, uh. You'll be safe. You're a freak. You're a freak. I am? I should have been. Stop thinking about that, huh? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I should, uh, I think you want something to eat. Would you like me to grab you a hamburger, raw meat, anything like that? You know what? Why don't you think about it? We'll be back. Let's go. Let's find it. Yeah, we're wasting time. You can't leave! Don't go! I'm so... Okay, where do we start? Well, we hoped you to have an idea. Why? I've been stuck in a cage. Okay, wait, wait. We know Caleb probably has Livy, right? Yes, I saw him take her. Where? I, I don't know. He usually tries to find me. Well, that's because he usually has something that he wants from me. Yes. In this case, my daughter. He right. wants to make her over to his bride. He wants Dr. to make her Collins, over to... You can't hurt my feelings. I know what I've become. And I promise you, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure Caleb doesn't turn Livy into what I am, what my kind, whatever, you know, me. So you do have an idea? Yes. Why did you just lie? Because I knew you guys would want to come and you can't. If you think we're going to let you go off and do this alone, you're wrong. Livy is my daughter. You I'm have going to let me go you. alone on this. I'm sorry. I can't. Listen to me. I can bargain with this guy. I can make a trade with him. You can't. What kind of trade? What do you have that Caleb wants? Me. I can give him me. You? Yes. Why not? I mean, he says he's going to turn me or he's going to destroy me. I mean, at least this way I can put up a fight. You, you guys can't. He will kill you guys, and that'll make it that much closer to him controlling Livy. You're maybe right, Doc. He's he's making some sense here. You have to stay away from Caleb. He is dangerous. You're only putting yourself in danger when you go around him. I swear to you, I swear on my life that I would bring Livy back to you. Doc. Look, I know you believe you can. I can. But not alone. If you know where to find Livy, great, but I want to be there when you do. I'm going with you, Jack. Hello. Yes, I need some help. I'm I'm in a cage. I've been locked into a cage. What? No, I'm not kidding. Why would I call 911 if I'm kidding? Yes, this is an emergency. I'm, I'm in a cage. It's in a laboratory. Hello? Hello, it's in a laboratory. The corner. Hello? No, I, no, no, don't hang up. I can hear you. I'm just not getting a good thing. Ah! 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 No! What'd I 
to deserve this.